it's all going the construction site down here below us at uh, Firebird Square. It'll be very nice once it's finished, but it's been pretty noisy lately. Lovely day here in Auckland, uh, coming towards the end of summer. Cool morning, but uh, beautiful afternoon. So what's on the table uh, at the moment? And we've got Polis fight for the hegemony. Haven't had this game out for quite some time, and um, what prompted me to get it out was a uh, review I did of the game some time ago. I stumbled across one of my old videos, ended up watching it, and I thought, hey, I've got to break this out again. So I'm playing uh, Polis um, solo, and um, just reminding me what a great game it is. So um, just to having to relearn the concepts and rules a little bit, but um, it's easy to learn, but it's the strategy that takes a bit of work. So I've just had the first round, and um, that's the state of play. Probably not um, optimal play in the slightest, but um, uh, it's just all fun anyway. So yeah, so I'm playing Polis, Fight for the Hegemony. I love the production values of this game, really nice, simple to set up, looks cool, great quality components, and um, some quite uh, deep strategy in this uh, game. It's quite... Um, quite deceptive really. So that's what's on the table at the moment. Um, Polis. I um, highly recommend this game if you can get a copy. Uh, and um, reading wise I'm um, rereading uh, Spring Offensive which is uh, New Zealand and the Second Battle of the Somme by Glenn Harper. So this is only going to appeal to uh, probably um, Kiwis or maybe Aussies but um, an excellent account of uh, the New Zealand uh, involvement in World War One on the Western Front. Really enjoying it second time around. So that's what's on the table at the moment here in Auckland. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, yeah, I'll uh, keep you posted on what's happening. Not too much on the gaming front, but uh, I'm managing to get the odd game onto the table. See you later.